Welcome, Galarian Challengers, to this week's edition of Team Oro News. I'm Eric. I'm Austin. And I'm Tristan. And, and we, we are, are Team Oro Gaming. Gaming. Today we're camping in Glimwood Tangle, ready to cover the events of this past week. I will be starting with updates in Sword and Shield, including changes to the Wild Area. Then cover the most recent Bujum VGC Regional Championships located in Germany. After Eric, I will be reporting on what we learned from the Nintendo Direct announcing the new Sword and Shield Expansion Pass. Then following Tristan, I'll close out this week's news by bringing you coverage on upcoming Pokemon Home release, followed by Pokemon Go updates. Let's get started. With the most recent update that comes the same day as the Nintendo Direct, if you head to Wedgehurst Station, you can grab Galarian Slowpoke. But there you'll need to find Clara or Avery, depending on which game version you have, you can find them in the train station. When you do catch Galarian Slowpoke, it does not add a new entry to your Pokedex. We expect this to happen when the DLC releases. You will not be able to evolve your Galarian Slowpoke until the expansions are released. To evolve into Galarian Slowbro, you'll need an item from the Ar Isle of Armor. For Galarian Slowking, you'll need an item from the Crown Tundra. So get two of them prepared and ready to evolve for when those expansions come out. If you're traveling around the wild area, you might have recent new Gigantamax Pokemon appearing more frequently. The increases for Sword are Colossal, Flapple, and Alchemy. And for Shield, it's Lapras, Appleton, and Alchemy. The cool thing with the increased chances on Alchemy is they release two version-based forms that were not available beforehand. You can get Salted Cream and Ruby Swirl, which is exclusive to five-star Sword Raids. You can get Caramel Swirl and Rainbow Cream, which are exclusive to four-star shield raids. Last weekend's Boojum, VGC Regional, Wash Rotom, Arcanine, and Ferrothorn were the Pokemon to have on your team. With this group being used on both teams in the final round between Alex Soto and Guillermo Castel Castilla, both trainers making it to the round seven Seven round, the final round, seven wins and two losses. Guillermo Castilla would take the round very quickly by sweeping Alex Soto two to zero with the following Pokemon Togekiss, Sableye, Mudsdale, plus the additional of Wash Rotom, Arcanine, and Feralis that we mentioned earlier. Have you guys used the new mystery codes yet that have been released recently? To make sure the most up to date mystery gift codes will be down below in the description. We were welcomed with a wonderful treat from the Nintendo Direct on January 9th, 2020. The Pokemon Sword and Shield Expansion Pass. First edition of the Expansion Pass is the Isle of Armor, coming out June of 2020. This will include a new area, new Pokemon, new clothing items, and new handy features, items, and more. On the new island, there is a dojo that you take apprenticeship under the new trainer who runs it, Mustard, the previous mentor of champion Leon. In the Isle of Armor, you will also have a new rival. For Sword, your rival will be Clara, and in Shield, Avery. The new legendary Pokemon, central to the story, will be Cub Fu. Once you complete your training with Cub Fu, it will evolve into Urshifu. Urshifu will have two different styles. Single strike style, this is a fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed, or rapid strike style, a fighting and water type style that focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid strikes. Also coming in the first expansion, the three starter Pokemon will be getting Gigantamax forms. New Pokemon moves are coming, Apricorns will be able to be made into Pokeballs, a new EXP charm to help earn more experience points for your team, new fashion items, and a new look for your bike. The second part of the expansion pass is the Crown Tundra. Coming out during the fall of 2020, this will include additional new Pokemon, a new co-op feature, as well as new clothing items, and more. In this new area, a person will appoint you as the leader of an exploration team in the Crown Tundra. The Crown Tundra will also have a new form of co-op play that will allow you and your friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra, deep inside the dens, 
You may also see Dynamax legendary Pokemon from past games. Both areas will be seamless maps, much like the wild area that you can already experience in-game. Early purchase of this expansion pass will include codes for a Pikachu uniform and an Eevee uniform, so be sure to pre-order to get these special items. If you guys are anything like me, your boxes are getting a bit full. And that's just due to the constant breeding and trying to get those perfect Pokemon, as well as the constant Gigantamax farming, whether that be shiny or hidden abilities. Luckily, Pokemon Home's coming out soon and it should be dropping February of 2020. Uh, there is not a specific day quite yet, but I'm sure we will be informed soon. Uh, this will be a new cloud service app that will allow trainers to manage their Pokemon across Nintendo Switch Pokemon games. Uh, you will also be able to access your Pokemon Bank through Pokemon Home uh, for, for the DS's and Pokemon Go, which I know if you're like me with the Pokemon Go, you have lots of shinies just ready to get in the game. Uh, Pokemon transferred to Pokemon Home can only be traded into Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, with a possibility of being able to transfer them into future games, though that is only speculation with the future games. Uh, I don't know if they are looking to take a home game approach uh, with these upcoming new additions that we're receiving. Um, only Pokemon within the Sword and Shield Pokedex will be able to be transferred from previous games uh, onto the current ones. And then the Nintendo DS Pokemon will have to first be transferred to Pokemon Bank in order to be transferred to Pokemon Home. <clears throat> uh, games compatible with Pokemon Bank will be Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, the DS Digital downloads, as well as Silver, Gold, and Crystal. Uh, those will also have to be the DS Digital downloads. Uh, into the newer games, uh, you will have access to Pokemon Bank with Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, as well as Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2, X and Y, Sun and Moon, and then Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which are the most recent additions. Uh, there will be some games that you will have to transfer into the more updated DS games uh, that can't be brought into bank. Uh, these games will be Fire Red, Leaf Green, Soul Silver, Heart Gold, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Uh, there is no currently known price for Pokemon Home, but speculations indicate a similar price as Pokemon Bank. Uh, and that's about $5 a year. Now moving on to the Pokemon Go updates. Uh, January's Pokemon Go Community Day will be on Sunday the 19th. Uh, for the Northern Hemisphere, it will be running from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. local time. And then for the Southern Hemisphere, it will be running from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. local time. Uh, this Community Day will be featuring Piplup, so expect increased shiny rates for this Pokemon. P Piplup will be found more frequently in the wild and in raids. And for the first time that I've seen, I have missed out on previous community days uh, since Sword and Shield dropped. Uh, but you will now be able to find eggs containing Piplup from spinning Pokestops during the community day hours. Lure mods will last three hours for the duration of this event. And if you evolve your Printplup during the community day or during the two hours following, you will receive an exclusive attack on your Empoleon. Uh, egg hatch distances will be reduced to a fourth of the normal distance, and this is only during community, community day hours. Trade evolution has found its way into Pokemon Go mechanics. Uh, this signifies Wave 2 of Unova Pokemon being added into Pokemon. Uh, this includes Rock and Roll Evolution Line, Timber Evolution Line, Care Blast Evolution Line, and Shelmet Evolution Line. Uh, trading certain Pokemon will result in no candy cost to uh, evolve these Pokemon. Uh, that will be Kadabra, Machoke, Graveler, Haunter, Bulldor, Girder, Carablast, and Shelmet. Uh, moving on to the January featured raid, uh, we will have Heatran until February 1st of 2020. Uh, this Pokemon is a Steel and Fire type, so be sure to have your ground Pokemon ready for this battle. Uh, and finally, to wrap it all up for the Pokemon Go updates this month, uh, 
starting now, you can defeat uh, the Team Rocket Go leaders to try and reach Giovanni. Once you defeat Giovanni, uh, you will be permitted to save and catch a Shadow Moltres. On behalf of Tristan, Austin, and myself, we'd like to thank you for joining us in this week's episode. We stream three days a week on Mixer. Check below for all the information. If this is your first time here, please click on the like and subscribe buttons down below. This will help us determine what content you enjoy. Thank you, challengers, for tuning in to Team Oro Gaming News. Can I scroll it up? Yes, please. I don't have my dress shirt on. Oh, oh you don't. wow, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, yeah. Good thing we noticed that before we... <laughs> Bye, Eric! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>